accepting defeat. Slovakia's Liberal candidate Mikhail Semeka said he'd still do his best to form a governing coalition after his PS party came in second with almost 18 percent. The fact of the matter is that uh, Smer is the winner and we of course respect that although we think it's bad news for the country and it will be even worse news if uh, Mr. Fiso forms a government. Um, therefore, I will be in touch with other political leaders whose parties were elected to parliament on an informal basis to discuss ways of ways of preventing that. With almost all votes counted, former Prime Minister Robert Fitzo's Smear party has won 23 percent of the vote. If they can form a government, this could represent a major shift in foreign policy for Slovakia. Fitzo campaigned on a pro-Russia and anti-NATO message, vowing to halt military support for Ukraine. This is the Slovakia I would like to see, not run by amateurs without experience so that we won't be dragged into misadventures, whether with migration or the military. The kingmaker will likely be the Halas or Voice Party, which came third with 27 seats. The left-wing party emerged in 2020 when a group of Smear lawmakers quit Fitzo's party. It's led by Peter Pellegrini, who became Slovakia's premier in 2018. This after Fitzo stepped down amid nationwide protests following the murder of journalist Jan Kuciak and his fiancée. Kuciak had uncovered links between the Italian mafia and Fitzo's government. Alas, has so far kept its options open.